Scotland road trip 2022. So we're on a pilgrimage. Hello guys, there's a famous and iconic train that runs from Fort William to Malake. It's called the Jacobite, better known as the Harry Potter train. We kept seeing glimpses of it, once at a Costa Coffee and a couple of times right past the back garden of the cottage we were staying at. We thought we needed to get a better look. So we wandered down to the station at Mora to watch it coming through. This is a Stania class steam locomotive built in 1945 at Crewe. Number 44871 finished mainline service in 1968. But it's now back working the West Highland line as the Jacobite. beautiful train also doubles as a very very famous locomotive it's the hogwarts express from harry potter so we're on a pilgrimage it's not a pilgrimage of a religion that we're particularly a member of however uh, a lot of people are so unashamedly we're going we're going to get the harry potter terrain so we're, we'll, uh, we're not going to get it we're going to no we're not going to get it, it sorry we're not going to get it yeah yeah i'm very i'm not very clear ever so thank you thank you <laughs> thank you sue uh no we're not going to get it we're going to film it right over the famous glen finn and viaduct it's a beautiful place it really is fantastic have a look at this Yeah, good point for Sue. This is uh, part of the Cape Wrath Trail. Oh, dipper, 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 dipper. Just saw a dipper, beautiful little bird, but it's gone. Yeah, it's part of the Cape Wrath Trail. Huh? Is that what you mean? Yeah, there, is, there it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't get it through here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so the Cape Wrath Trail goes from Fort William, which is about 20 miles down the road, up to uh, Cape Wrath on the tip of Scotland. And people walk that and do overnights, some unsupported, a lot unsupported, and camping overnight. Very and uh, Incredible. So yeah. I'll put a link up to a couple of brilliant channels that we watch who've done that walk. And uh, they walk under this viaduct on the way. The viaduct was built in 1898. It's 160 foot high, 425 yards long. And it was a bit midgy. Oh. <laughs> 
do. Here we are, waiting for the train with about three or four hundred other people. <laughs> so I've just been to the Harry Potter viaduct, Glenfinnan, where there's sort of about three million people, and we're just wandering down to the real history because that was obviously about a mythical, a mythical young wizard. Whereas this this guy we're going to see now, Bonnie Prince Charlie, was around about 250 to 180 years ago, and he came and landed on this spot because he wanted to take over the UK. I think it was his father, it might have been his grandfather, James Stewart. This is Bonnie Prince Charlie Stewart. Yeah, yeah so in 1745, August 1745, Charles Stewart landed here. He'd landed on the west coast and he landed here. Raised the standard, gathered the clans and declared he was the rightful king of England, Scotland, Wales and Ireland. And there began the march into England. It took Carlisle, marched down as far as Manchester, it took Manchester as far as I can remember. And for some reason I think the supplies ran out at Derby so they didn't make it down as far as the south. And then they were pursued back into Scotland at the Battle of Culloden. The Highlanders were massacred. But it's quite an evocative spot. Really quite an evocative spot. A few weeks after we returned from Scotland, we went to watch the Lace Wars reenactment group at Chester House in Northamptonshire. They were reenacting a scene from Carlisle, a skirmish where government troops were retreating and the Jacobites were advancing down towards Manchester. Hope you enjoy it, guys. Watch out, the Scots coming.